some things but uh, we are going to the hot water well so let's see so we have come to check out the hot water wells in Kanya so there's a lot of stories involved with hot water wells isn't it I've been here a few times. So it is not free. I think for the locals it costs around 50 and for the foreigners it costs around 100 rupees. I think it's pretty cheap comparatively with other places you have to go to this the Kanye Hot Water Springs is an archaeologically shielded place with hot wells located in Kanye in Trincomalee. It consists of seven wells that form a rectangular shape. The wells are only three to four feet deep with obviously visible bottoms. However, the water temperature of the wells is known to differ gradually from one to another. The place is popular amongst Sri Lankan Tamils for performing religious Hindu rituals blessed and assumed to have started by Ravana of the epic Ramayana. The Kanya hot water springs date back to the era of King Ravana. The story goes that King Ravana struck the earth with his sword at several spots causing hot water fountains to emerge. Later, Buddhist monks are also believed to have used this place as a part of their monastery complex. It's so warm. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's amazing. So we are currently in Trinko and it's quite sunny over here. It is damn sunny and it's very warm it's around 40 degrees celsius if i'm right and we have the bay behind so the plan is to go canoeing but uh, let's see how the waters are and yeah it's the pool behind and you can see the bay which is like
Kaling Kamali, anciently known as Gokanna, town and port of Sri Lanka on the island's northeastern coast. It is situated on the peninsula in Trincomalee Bay, formerly called Kodir, meaning fort by the river. One of the world's finest natural harbors. Trincomalee was in early times a major settlement of Indo-Aryan immigrants. The temple of a thousand columns called Koneswaram Temple, located at the extremity of the peninsula, came into use as a Hindu temple sometime in the 7th century or earlier. The first Europeans to occupy the town were the Portuguese in the 7th century. They raised the temple using its stones to construct a fort. The port of Trincomalee is no longer important commercially. Though in the 1960s, congestion and labor problems at Colombo, Sri Lanka's commercial capital and chief port caused some trade to be routed towards it. Tourism has become an important component of the local economy. <laughs> Now the view is better. No. The view. Strong. <laughs> yeah. This is going on YouTube, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 